A former director at the CBN has told the Lagos State Special Offences Court that he allegedly delivered $600,000 in cash and as gratification for the award of contracts to the former governor of the Apex Bank, Godwin Emifiele. Mr. Emifiele is being tried for alleged abuse of office and fraud, totaling $4.5 billion and 2.8 billion naira. Kemi Foladeemo has details. John Ayo, who was the director of the IT department before his resignation in 2019, said he delivered the monies under duress upon Mr. Emefiele's instructions in two tranches. The first was a sum of $400,000, which was given to an assistant of Mr. Emefiele, and that he delivered the second envelope containing $200,000 personally to the first defendant at the bank's Lagos office. He told the courts that the vendors who allegedly brought the envelopes were in charge of the implementation of the NetApp Storage Architectural and Infrastructural Services contract. Rotimu Yedipo SAN, leading the EFCC's team, presented the witness to give his evidence. During cross-examination led by Olale Koujo SAN, the witness who was also the head of procurement and support services, at the CBN, said he was vested with powers to receive applications for award of contracts to select successful bidders. He added that Mr. Emefiele wasn't a member of the PSS team, but a member of the major contract tender committee, and that he faced immense pressure to bend the procurement rules under Mr. Emefiele's tenure as governor. Early on Monday, the court also rejected two bids by Mr. Emefiele to stall his trial. The defense had challenged the validity of the charges on basis of jurisdiction and constitutionality, saying the first defendant couldn't be prosecuted in any state high court. However, his lordship, in the exercise of his discretion, rejected our application that that, that motion challenging jurisdiction be taken and pronounced upon first and held that that application challenging the jurisdiction of the High Court of Lagos State to entertain this case will be taken together with the substantive case. In other words, we will only be taken and pronounced upon at the final stage that is when writing is when it's judgment in the case. Justice Ramano Shodi also granted the defense request and extended an order releasing the defendants to his counsel until May the 17th, the next adjourned date, following his inability to perfect his bail conditions.